One of the most awesome spectacles in modern sport, Sailplane Grand Prix. Sailplane Grand Prix races are brutally simple. A regatta start with all the planes abreast. The first aircraft across the finish line wins. It's fast. It's intense. It's exhilarating. These are the Sailplane Grand Prix pilots. They represent the elite of the sport. And they're here to race. The title of world champion is at stake. To achieve that title, first they need to conquer the mountains. Their sleek machines have no engine. Nobody has a power advantage. They have to race from peak to peak, literally gathering energy off the face of the mountains. Energy comes in the shape of plumes of hot air, or wind that chromes off the mountains. Both derive from the heat of the sun, of course. The sun is their engine. Even if you take an experienced glider pilot, for their first flight into the mountainous area, they are completely amazed by the way in which the energy is available to us to use, and the way in which we can move around the mountains riding that energy is purely powered by the sun. There are so many misconceptions about gliding. Gliders, also called sailplanes, are not light. They are not slow. They are not simple. They are slim, but heavy machines. Their wings are filled with water ballast to give them mass so they can more effectively slice through the sky. They typically average 140 kilometers per hour. Flat out, they often hit 300. The pilots will fly into some of the world's highest mountain ranges and race wingtip to wingtip over a course that will stretch everyone to the limit. When they cross the virtual start line, the race is on. Along the way, the gliders top up their energy using thermals. In their world, these are pit stops for refueling with the same tactical ramifications. Green chooses to climb higher, taking on more energy. He loses seconds, but has the advantage to take a more direct route. Red briefly took the lead, but has to take the long way, hugging the mountain to gain energy in the updrafts. After a few hours racing, it's a mad dash for the line. Red gambles on leaving the thermal early, risking landing short. But Green, with more height and potential energy, can dive at maximum speed, retaking the lead a few seconds before the finish. <laughs> 